Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is where we do the collective messages, okay? Like, 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 and subscribe. If you get anything out of this, thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascendant Masters, Cosmic Guides, all beings of the highest and purest white light only with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful and fabulous, amazing Pisces to your family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? So this is a Yeshua reading. And um, I only have one note, which is the Falcon. It's 909. That could be significant for you. But I started singing uh, Amor Prohibido by uh, Selena, okay? Uh, what she'd be like, uh, Amor Prohibido. No, she'd say, Amor Prohibido, murmuran por, por las calles, porque somos de distiana sociedades. Amor prohibido nos dice todo el mundo. Okay. I, I cannot say the next part. El dinero no importa. <laughs> in ti ni in mi ni el corazón. Oh, oh, baby. Or something like that. And I was like, you want me to use this? <laughs> it's like, yes. Because I, I just went to the restroom. And I started singing it in there, okay? So it says, with a crazy yearning, I want to see you today. I await that moment when I can hear your voice. And when we are finally together, the two of us, what does it matter what they will say? Your father and your mother here, only our love matters. I love you. Forbidden love, they murmur through the streets because we are from different societies. Forbidden love, the whole world tells us. Money does not matter in you nor in me, nor in the heart. Oh, oh baby. So pretty in English too, you know. I love that song though. And I think like this really don't this sound like your relationship with God though <laughs> you know like it's like you have this crazy yearning in your heart you know you want to see God in your life every day of every moment you await the moment that you can hear the voice of God speaking through you all the time and when you and God are finally together now that you and God are finally together it is only the love between you and God that matters baby <laughs> nothing even matters at all well she say now you won't find me at no store i have no time for manicures with you it's never either or because nothing even matters no more okay well she said these buildings could drift out to sea by some natural catastrophe. Still, there's no place I'd rather be. Come on, Yeshua. <laughs> That's that love. That That is the passion, the love it, that you need to hold in your heart for God, baby. Okay, I feel like you got it. I feel like it's there, you know. I feel like a lot of people, you know, they love God in a different way, you know, out here in this society. And they feel like because you love God in your way that you love God less. But it's not about that. It's don't nothing else don't matter once you tap into the love of God, baby. I can tell you from experience, don't nothing else matter to me right now except this and what God told me to do. I don't care what nobody thinks. I don't care how nobody feels. I don't care about the judgments of other people. And they can say whatever they want to say. I'm not bothered at all, <laughs> okay? And I think this is how, this is what Yeshua is saying. You need to have this kind of tunnel vision when it comes to the love of you and God, you know? These are love songs, okay? These are love songs that he just opened up with, okay? To express the feeling the feelings that go on between you and God. Like, I feel like you really are there, you know? So... Um, and it's funny because when I did tap into this energy, like I do hear love songs completely different. Like I hear songs so differently. I get like such a different energy from certain songs that I didn't used to get before, you know, God is in there <laughs> and I love that. So next was the Falcon. Well, the actual note is the Falcon. Okay. So it says Falcons are revealed 
revered as messengers of the divine, you know? And so I wrote at the top, you are like the Falcon and you're soaring to new heights. You know, that's definitely going to be the title, but this is what it is. You know, in this situation, you are the Falcon. You are this, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> double confirmation. You are this beautiful messenger of the divine, you know, Falcons signify profound spiritual insights, vision, freedom, and victory, baby. Falcons also symbolize salvation to those in bondage, whether moral, emotional, or spiritual. Falcons are associated with the sky, um, with eyes representing the sun and the moon. You know what I'm saying? So you have, um, a balanced sight when you are in this beautiful energy, when you are in love with your connection with God, okay? It says, um, its wings spread out to protect the earth below. So you are a protector of the earth, okay? It says, um, sky represents, so the sky represents infinity, eternity, immortality, and transcendence, okay? It also represents limitless possibilities and the potential for growth and expansion, okay? Um, the sky can also represent ambition, victory, nobility, success, rising to the challenge, vision, protection, and wisdom, you know? So oh, I just love the way he just opened this up, okay? I do. <laughs> I truly do. So at the bottom of the deck, we got career and success. And under that, we got this Aquarius, this star energy. Like, you're meant to be a star in whatever it is that you do for your career, okay? So please don't stop, you know? And raise the magnitude of your ideals of where it is that you think that you can go, you know, with this Saturn energy. Do not let your lessons that you've been through of the past limit you. Um, they're all meant to open up and open up and expand and expand and expand that energy of love that you hold for God. And this in turn, like, is seen. You know what I mean? People become aware of you. Like, you have put yourself on the map <laughs> with the second house. Um, we got resources and values. And more of this balanced energy. She's got the chakras in this hand and the crystal in this hand and this beautiful lotus flower crown. You know, you're really wide open in a balanced energy, looking very great to the divine, you know. And you're stepping into more of this energy of drive, stepping more into your energies of power. And this is what really truly does happen when you spark. Like if you think about love, he's saying that passion that comes with it, you know, like you're you will do anything for that person or you will go to the ends of the earth for that person. Um, I'm hearing Lauren Hill's. Like, you know how they have be having the kids talking after the Lauren Hill songs, you know, on that on the uh, Miseducation album, I think. And they talk about love. And she say, when you love somebody, you take in that person for, you know, whoever they are, you know, no matter what he or she look like and no matter what he or she do, you know, and that's the way that God loves you. God doesn't care about what you look up, what you look like. He don't care what you did today. He don't care about none of that shit. All he know is he loves you and he sees you in the highest version of yourself. And when you love God, you show that love by trying to meet that highest version of yourself that God sees you as. And that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love when they get to talking like this. <laughs> I love it. I'm just here for it all, okay? So, it says, um, <laughs> what you see on this card, okay? The golden woman sitting on a floating half moon juggles the graphically illustrated treasures and values both left and right. The flower on her head emphasizes grounding as well as abundance. Her heart chakra is also glowing. So, um, it says life area. So this card can represent in your life, wealth, tangible assets, money, material, security, abundance, luxury, resources, physical self-awareness and self-worth. You know, um, the interpretation is uh, handling of finances, relationship to money, gains and losses, expenses, wealth, possessions and talents. I think 
He's saying like the more that you nurture your love and your connection to God, the l less you have to worry about, you know, finances and um, handling this really this money. You know, I think that your relationship with money improves a lot because you realize that you are the money. And as long as you are connected to God, you will always be rich. So I think you could be coming into more of an understanding of this. It says if, for example, an important planet is in the second house of your natal chart, it represents your connection to finances and possessions. Or maybe he's asking you to look into, you know, your connection with money and finances and realizing that the love of God pays for it all, baby. <laughs> OK. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I heard a song, but I believe it. It says, but also your own self-worth a strongly occupied second house that is several planets in the second house okay it says it indicates an urgent desire for material security the second house is the so-called house of Taurus and corresponds to the life areas that have to do with the core themes of the sign of Taurus like security and finances you know so lots of um secure financial energy coming into you at this time you know it says in a circumstance it is about your self-worth finances or possessions perhaps you are too attached to possessions and material things or you are experiencing pleasure and abundance you know and yes she was saying like when he walked this earth you think like he was just balling out of control like <laughs> like he just you know had money to blow <laughs> getting it in letting his bills crawl under you your skin no he was doing what he could do with what he had he was growing where he was planted he was so focused on God sometimes that he didn't even realize you know he's bringing to me like this idea of there not being enough to feed everyone because this is so far from his mind because he's so focused on God on receiving these profound spiritual insights and visions that he needed to free the people he was focused on getting the, the victory for God. He was focused on seeing things in this life from that very balanced place of the sun and the moon. He was focused on his alchemical growth. And this is why everything was provided for him and his disciples along the way. So we got embrace change. It says, I move easily and confidently through the changes in my life, you know. So um, I think you're doing a great job of really embracing these chains, these chains, I was going to say, embracing this change, though. I think maybe you might feel like these are chains sometimes, you know, like this journey is a lot more harder than maybe where you were in the recent past, where you were just more focused on this money, this money, this money, you know, taking actions daily <laughs> to get this abundance. Look at there's an abundance under this. Okay. But I think now you're more focused on this healing, more focused on this divine energy, you know, like I said that on this card, the golden glowing woman. Okay. So this is this, this golden glowing Christ energy that you're in every day. You're taking more actions to awaken the personal power within you. And that looks great. Like, please keep doing that. <laughs> That's everything. Cause this is what's taking you to these new heights. You know, we got the will of life right here, which says I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. I think you're finding the balance. Balance, you know, oh, look at this, though. Look at them doing the same thing. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> they doing the same thing, okay? So this is, you know, this energy of, like, you being balanced. You, at day's end, showing much gratitude no matter what you have or where you are in life and finding time for you to rest. But it doesn't just mean, like, you know, rest, go to sleep, rest your mind, stop worrying and fretting and get into that energy where you understand that God is everything that the more you focused on God and the more you have these crystal ascensions that you're having, the, the easier it is for you to find your bliss and also to attract money or whatever it is that you want that's material in this world. So you could be um, receiving some major heart chakra upgrades.
um, and activations at this time that's going to tap you more into that that God love, okay, with the Queen of Roses. Like, I think you're tapping more into your self-worth, more into your compassionate energies, okay? So I'm hearing higher higher heart activation with the Seven of Keys. You're going through some sort of ascension. And the Seven of Keys or that Seven of Swords energy is not always about sneaky people. You know, sometimes it's about blessings sneaking up on you. You know, good things, the best things sneaking up in your life, you know, at the time where you didn't expect it. Where like Yeshua, you're just focused. You're just like God, 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 God. And then you're attracting all of these other things where you're not even paying attention to nothing but God and with the way he wants you to walk, you know. And that's amazing. We got the king of forces or the king of cups i feel like you're in a very emotionally balanced place at this time and that's why your worth is shining so bright also you spend a lot of time in nature you could be getting a lot of animal signs at this time with the two of forces that's like double co double confirmation on the emotional balance you know but um in the last reading I, I went and read about the willow tree which is on this card and it, it talked about how you could plant a willow branch anywhere and an entire tree would grow from that and i think as long as you're focused on god and going with the flow with this river alongside this you know and this even looks like a little falcon flying right here in the back by this willow tree okay so I think as long as you're focused on God and on this emotional balance and going with the flow that the way that you've been doing, you know, and saying no to the war energy, including the war energies that tend to happen within yourself, that you will always be fine, you know, like you're doing things um, really the right way for yourself at this time. We got the seven of forces or balance, like balance is so important to you flying to these new heights that you're meant to reach at this time okay we got the eight of roses you know with sangha and the community and also i feel like you're someone who has a very diverse worship type of thing you know because yeshua really had this Hunger is what he's calling it. You know, he craved the word of God and he was willing to find it wherever he could find it, whatever methods or meditations he needed to try to, you know, any way that he any information or learning experiences he could extract from the community. He was working hard to do that. And he did that. And look what he did, though. OK, what else? I like how you're talking to y'all. <laughs> Okay, we got the two of roses, okay, with the winged messenger, baby, and that's you. You are the winged messenger. You hold all of these beautiful messages and the ability to fly freely through this life. And look, here go another, another falcon-looking bird right here, you know? Like, I think you're, this love of God that you have stepped into is the most beautiful place that you have ever been in your life and that this is something that you really need to foster and grow and and, and pay much attention to at this time okay because this is how you're going to attract all of the things that you may have been stressing about in the past you know that you may have been worried about you know with the initiation of the count saint germain i think you have really embraced the transmutation of it all you know like transmutation is so important to your mind to the way that you attract knowledge to the way that you connect with the divine and connect with god and receive those beautiful messages that you really do receive i feel like maybe in the past you used to ignore your guides a lot but i think you were in this place where you're so inspired so ready to celebrate all of these different things that have come into your life you know all of these different energies i feel like you're really saying no to the conflicts of the past and really looking out at things from a higher perspective with a more responsible god-like way of thinking and it's beautiful okay he's saying like avo avoid being uh like resistant avoid having your boundaries up too hard at this time like now is a very good time for you to be open you know because the love of god is a very open thing everybody's welcome into the love of god you know everybody's welcome you know at the church or whatever you know well most of the time you know depending on what church you go into <laughs> but um everyone's welcome when it comes to that energy of god you know like 
and it's it's come as you are type of shit. And this is um, how Yeshua wants you to look at everyone and everything that you run into on this journey. What's the Queen of Roses, the Chancellor of Daggers, you know, or like this is kind of like I think the Chancellors are the kings in this deck. This is like King of Swords energy, and also. Um, She's got this crystal crown popping, you know, I think the way she's holding the dagger up, you know, gives me this energy of you upholding the truth of your wealth. And also, you know, she's pointing up like the dagger points up at the queen of roses. So I think like you really have been crowned. You really are being crystallized. And in the queen of roses, she's surrounded by roses. Okay. Or surrounded by that energy of love surrounded by communication from God at all times. You might get a lot of signs. I did say something about animal signs though. What's the seven of keys or the ascent, the sun. Okay. So at this time, just like it is, <laughs> I love that just like it is in the in the ascent card the sun is shining on you you know i think that um also different ways like i feel like different options and things are being illuminated to you in a in a major way at this time you know like i think that this love that you have been giving and pouring into god so much is really paying off for you and he's pouring right back into you you know we got the four of wands he's pouring happiness into you at this time because of your emotional emotional maturity and the way that you really wield your compassion in this world okay what's the two of forces and the willow the three of wands okay so it's like maybe your life doesn't feel like as balanced as you are as you feel on the inside and you know yes she was saying that's perfectly normal that's the part that comes first you first you feel it on the inside of you and then your reality mirrors where you are inside so just keep it going okay because you really are attracting the best possible things to yourself and in this three of wands she's looking to the moon or looking to her intuition to guide her the way that god wants her to walk you know so you know do that <laughs> <laughs> was the seven of forces in the balance the page of wands you know i think um you really have or you really should focus on your inner child energy a lot more you know like let that part of you out the part of you that is very innocent very fun very free very playful i think that brings a lot more balance to all of like maybe the ser more serious financial things that you worry about on the day to day like you don't have to worry about those things and i think that's really a big message here what's the eight of roses and uh you know with this sangha the community so we got the eight of wands and the page of cups you know because you know more inner child energy i think God is just looking at you like his big, beautiful baby, you know, sending in all of the messages and everything that you really need to know, really guiding you through your intuition in a in a very strong way at this time. And like I said, you could be feeling very inspired, very passionate about the steps that you want to take because they are so divinely guided. So you need to just trust yourself and just go the way you're being called to walk. OK, you're being pulled more into these energies of love, you know, and nothing even matters outside of that huh it was the two of roses and the winged messenger the ten of crystals okay so know that every single message and every single opportunity that's coming in for you right now is definitely a gift from god baby <laughs> okay all of this is payment for what you what you went through when you were in hermit mode you know i think your wishes are being fulfilled with the three of cups now's the time for you to really celebrate because this is the eight of roses with this eight of wands under it and this is the eight of pentacles which is the same energy you know you have become the authoritarian in your own life you have began to turn things down that don't serve you you making the right choices and you working as a team with god now baby now you're doing it right you know whereas in the past i think you were really in denial about your divinity and you really never couldn't get no rest in the mind because you were always like trying to stand your ground instead of like relaxing and just you know leaning into the love and letting god drop that bag on you the way that he's gonna do right now okay <laughs> you're gonna drop that bag on you baby <laughs> Can you hear it? Can you hear it in the way that I'm talking? You're going to drop it on you, okay? I hope that um, 
You just remain true to the temple path that you're currently on, you know, and keep operating from this place of love with the woman holding the heart and know that Archangel Michael is with you always, baby, protecting you and this beautiful commitment that you have made to God. All right. What is the Queen of Roses and the Chancellor of Daggers? So we got um, creation. It says the law of intention. So intention releases a force that makes things happen. So your intentions are very strong, very powerful. Make sure that you practice actively setting intentions. Okay. Like spirit started having me really say that like, okay, so with this bath, I set the intention that, you know, I want to cleanse my energy. I want, you know, spirit, I want God, archangels, ancestors, and ascended masters to pour in any energies or anything, you know, being very specific about what I intend to create in this moment, you know, with the drinking of this water, <laughs> you know, like, um, love light water also could be a very good thing for you. Okay. Um, talking to your water, telling it, you love it. Uh, thank it. Thanking it for all of the healing and things that it's bringing into your life. This is a very powerful thing. Water is extremely programmable, you know, and also like if you have like water around people who are very <laughs> negative or whatever, you know, like cases of water at work, maybe they gossip a lot at work. Don't be drinking that water. They be gossiping around without talking to that water with some love first, please. But anyways, your intentions are very strong at this time. It says the universe supports intention. Intention is the basis of all manifestations. OK, and then we got the law of decree. It says by divine decree in the name of God under grace, I invoke the violet flame to transmute. Now it is done. OK, so very powerful thing to say okay because when you decree something you only got to decree that thing one time okay it is a declaration okay that <laughs> and, and and you're you're doing this decree in the name of god okay by divine decree in the name of god under grace i invoke the violet flame to transmute now it is done okay you tell me say it again <laughs> what's out of the seven of keys and the ascent so the law of faith, okay, it says faith allows miracles to take place, you know, and that's with this, you know, this sneaky blessing sun type of energy, like I say, it's all because of your faith, you know, that all of these different options and opportunities are being uh, like revealed to you at this time, you know, it says um, faith allows miracles to take place foundation of self-success manifestation prayer and decrees okay <laughs> it says the law of prosperity if you don't believe you deserve prosperity then you cannot receive it you know so opening yourself up more to god exposing these opportunities that are for your highest good in your life and not going into opportunities thinking you know what kind of energy to accept i mean what kind of energy you know you're running into or whatever like don't make assumptions because you know you know what you know what making assumptions do okay <laughs> don't be making assumptions because it really doesn't get you that far and god is not he not doing things the way that you would do them okay god is totally outside the box god move in a way that you ain't never seen no person ever move because god made all the people <laughs> so be open to the way that god is moving in your life and don't try to expect or you know, like predict how God is about to move. Just set the intention and have the faith that he is moving for sure and believe you deserve the way that he's about to move and everything will turn out just fine. Okay, what's uh, the king of forces and the four of wands? The law of perspective. It says time is not linear. Your mental state changes your perception of time, you know. So um, also in this in this deck, there's a card that says, you know, uh, when you're worried and stressed and things, you know, that time uh, tends to be slow. I, if I'm not mistaken, let me just find it. Let me just find it real quick. Do, 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 do. This is your whole music. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Do do. I don't see it. Do 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 do. Ah, okay. So when you're happy, time speeds. When you're unhappy, time slows. And when you are afraid, time stands still. So this tells you a lot about where you really are. You know, like what can you do to make yourself more happy? To make things that God's trying to do into your life speed up a little bit more. You know, are you experiencing any unrational fears that could be coming from trauma that could have things you know come completely at a standstill for you like it's all about you and where you are in your journey and just recognizing that everything is not just like this straight line cut and dry kind of thing it's all very like complicated and intertwined with you and your energies and your emotions and that's why it's important to really work on yourself so that you can clear those things out and you can hear god crystal clear at this time okay what's uh, the two of forces and the three of wands we got uh, the law of miracles, you know, earth equals a heavy vibe subject to the law of karma. The divine frequency dissolves and transmutes lower energies and miracles occur, you know. And so um, Yeshua was saying the more that you follow your intuition and stay emotionally balanced, the less likely you are to become subject to the law of, you know, like negative karma or to the heaviness or lowness that the earth energies can bring. You know, you are not of this world so it's very important for your consciousness to be thinking outside of this world also you know and what better way to think outside of this world than to focus on God and the magnificence of him and the love that you guys have for each other you know What's the seven of forces in the page of wands? We got karma. Karma is like the wind. Old karma related to your family or cultural traditions, you're pretty much stuck with it. You know, I think you went through a lot of things as far as like your family goes and maybe you're balancing out from this, you know, but it's really all like you really needed that. OK, <laughs> that really helped you to step into this spiritual understanding. Like it puts you in a place where <clears throat> you can lean on the divine a lot more like you really have cleared out a lot of this stuff you know like i hope you don't feel like you're stuck with any old karma still you know it might blow in every now and again karmic situations but that doesn't mean that you're still paying karma you're on the ascent you on the up and up you're in balance and in love with the divine journey that you're on and that's exactly where you need to be you know <sighs> my nose jeez it's just always running forever what's the eight of roses the page of cups and the eight of wands okay we got awareness okay so the law of meditation so it's like yes you're doing all of this hard work you know but don't forget to take the time to tap in to do things like the violet flame to cleanse your energy to make sure you're tapping into that higher energy as much as possible because there's some amazing things coming into you okay it says uh, excuse me connect with your i guess that's confirmation on these amazing things okay it says connect with your inner self and with the holy spirit intend to quiet the monkey mind for god seeds of guidance and wisdom inspiration equals answers you know so like sometimes you'll pray or you'll meditate and you'll really be wondering what should i do next when it comes to dealing with these people in the community or what should i do next when it comes to my job god and sometimes god will just inspire you with some wisdom or inspire you to go take some certain action that's going to kick off a chain reaction of what it is that you're trying to get to so also be listening to yourself you know god is in the silence baby god is not like go over there <laughs> it's over there like uh call this number god it don't work like that okay he works in a way that requires you to quiet the mind and to call on him and to really listen and to really follow the little nudges and things that you get and eventually you end up in the right spot eventually you end up in the best place only time god is loud is when it's danger because i didn't hear god be real loud he'd be like you know walk <laughs> he'd be like leave <laughs> for real god will tell you flat out get out of there right now and that is 
the only times where it's really loud and it's really obvious and everything in your body sort of tenses up and you need to get out of there immediately. But when it comes to like, you know, this gentle guidance and him guiding you, you know, in a loving way to where it is that you need to go, you need to get very quiet and, you know, keep any and all toxicity out of your life if you really want to hear him. And I think that you have done a great job of maintaining this type of energy. Like you're doing it just right. So I hope you don't feel like you're doing things wrong you're just in this place where you're being prepared you're being loved you're being gracefully and gently moved up and taught to fly these higher you know in these higher heights you're being taught to fly in a higher uh at a higher elevation okay <laughs> what's um the two of roses with the wings messenger the ten of crystals the law of faith okay it says Faith equals a quality of such high frequency that it transcends lower laws and makes the impossible possible. You know what I'm saying? But you have to be trained to fly at that frequency. It, you have to be trained to operate at that place, you know, and, and they do it a little bit at a time so that it is something that you will be able to maintain, something that you will be able to sustain going on, going forward, you know, something you can keep up. You don't want it to be something that just crashes and goes to shit for you you know so um we got the law of success it says success comes when we get the energy right and the person or collective vibes resonate with desired outcomes so quick success equals karma you know so i think if you would have came into this quick success you know that shit would have just got torn down by all the karma that all this old karma that was like the wind that blew through your life and threatened to blow you and everything <laughs> you know i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house down and that's what would have happened if you would have got that quick success the winds of karma would have came in and blew and knocked down that entire you know house of cards that you had built because it was not you weren't standing on the strong foundation that you're standing on now so just have trust in yourself and in your journey and know that success is coming the right way now because now you're getting the energy right and the collective vibes are starting to resonate with where you've been at this entire time you know you got to give this world some time to catch up sometimes baby like i said your next level you're at a higher frequency you are transcending lower laws and making the impossible possible in your life and that don't sound easy do it no it's not that easy <laughs> but it's easy though you know it's really nothing for you god is opening these doors and clearing these ways for you to make your ascent at this time so all he's asking you to do you know all yeshua is asking you to do at this time is to set your intentions and have the faith that whatever you set your intentions toward or whatever you pray for it's got a very powerful backing to it and it will come to you as soon as you need it or are a vibrational match for it what's uh, the final thought on this yeshua strategy okay so, um, and we got patience at the bottom of the deck, of course, and appreciation, you know, um, show appreciation and, uh, be very patient with God at this time, you know, like there's a very strategic, you know, sequence of events that's going on in your life, you know, the angel of strength right here. And we got the temple path, you know, they want you to st just stay strong on this path, show that gratitude and be very patient and remain compassionate. You know what I'm saying? Know that you are the magician and <laughs> that your life is that your reality is always going to mirror this beautiful yin yang peaceful you know healer of the ages energy that you hold within and also this that yeshua energy right here okay you are a divine physician just like him okay you on this same type of journey so try to stay out of your anxiety because your anxiety only brings more financial constraints for yourself use your beautiful throat chakra and communicate with god what it is that you need and if you feel like somebody is with the deceit you know what i mean or Okay, so there's also this energy of deceitful people playing with your money, you know, maybe watching it, trying to affect this energy of love, you know, but yes, she was saying, you don't have to worry about that. It's all being handled through this love that you have, okay? That's why it's uh, a more prohibido, right? Because a lot of people wanted to tell you that this love, this kind of connection, this 
kind of closeness with God was impossible. And the only way to get to heaven is through the Bible. And it's just not true, baby. <laughs> it's just not true. Okay. So it says this card shows a pen, journal, compass, and key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in, consider any potential change in course that may be needed, and be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control, add thought to action, and set your sights on the road ahead, okay, or on God. Keep your sights set on the love that you have for the divine. Keep your sights set on learning as much as you can about yourself. Keep your sights set on, you know, this beautiful active energy, but also an, an active energy that is led by your intuition or by the beautiful love of God. You know what I'm saying? And make sure that you are using your discernment in a major way at this time, because you need to discern everything. Okay. <laughs> the affirmation says, I plan the necessary steps to achieve my goals and I am willing to take action in that direction. I am flexible, persistent, and prepared, you know? So, also this energy of you being very prepared, you having this, you know, very amazing and well thought out strategy, but also leaving room for God and the love of him and how he wants to move with the plan that you made. Because it's a co-creation. You know what I'm saying? You are a team member in the thing. So though you may make this plan, you may draw these plans up or, you know, create this business plan. It's not going to always go exactly how you think it's going to go. It's not always going to move as fast as you think it should be moving. So just be very aware of that and don't stress yourself out. So with that, I'm done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. Okay, that you got something that you needed out of this, my love. And I will see you later. Bye.